Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. I know, I know, I took like a week off because I went on vacation and then I needed a week to like just sit my butt down. You know, you know when you have those days or those weeks, some people have the months where you're just like, I just need to chill. There's a bunch of stuff going on at the house. I need to ha have a seat, okay? But I did miss you guys. A week off from YouTube feels like forever, forever, ever. You know what I mean? So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the brand new BH Cosmetics Times Daisy Marquez palette. I have it right here. Look at this. This came out, I think, last Thursday or Friday, about a week ago. And I've been wanting to review it ever since it came out. So you open the box, which looks like a, looks like a Tiffany's box. And look at, I'm looking at this and I'm like, dude, I was like, there's no brush. Like they forgot to put the brush up in here. Wait, hold up. I was watching it. They didn't put a brush up in here. Okay. And I'm like looking at the mirror. I'm like, oh, this is so cute. And then boom, it clicks. Okay. Literally clicks in. Okay. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. How about I clean my mirror? <laughs> but look at how cute that is. You have your mirror here. You have the eyeshadow here. And it just gives you like a nice little vanity. I really like it. I think that this palette is really cute, especially... It's $19, okay, you get 20 eyeshadows for $19. You guys know I'm like all about affordable makeup and you can see there's like a lot of almost like pastel -y colors, which is making me feel like spring is finally here. It's gonna stop being cold. Like you guys, LA is beyond record freezing right now, for us anyways. You know, we're used to perfect weather. So if anything drops below perfect, we're like freaking out and I'm freaking out right now, okay? Don't be fooled by the tank top, I got the heater on. Hmm. So in this video, I will be applying the entire, well not the entire palette, I can't put 20 shadows on my eyes, like no one has time for that, but I will be doing, I kinda wanna do like a little minty look with this, you know? Like minty, bring in the drama, let's do like a dramatic look today. So you'll see my first impressions of the palette, and at the end of the video, I'll let you know if I recommend it. So let's get started. All right, I brought you all in close. I don't want to hear any complaints, okay? Everyone's always like, get closer. This is pretty close, okay? If you're any closer, you'll be in my soul. Yeah, this is this is this is cool, okay? So I prep my eyes with ooh, Makeup Forever number 45 concealer. I always use a concealer. Um, I think I might use a base later to cut the crease. We gonna play it by ear, but let's see what we got up in here. What we gonna do? I really like this Dolce, oh shoot, concealer just got all over the place. <laughs> I really like this Dolce color here. So we're gonna put that in the crease first. There's actually a lot of colors in here that I'm just like, damn, I really just wanna try it. So like all of these are really speaking to me, plus the black. I always use colors like this, so I might skip this, but we're definitely gonna do this little situation. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna grab my Sigma blending brush. Where are you at? This is a Sigma E40. This is like my little trick right here. Hmm. Does all the work for me. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh, I'm on fire today. All right, so we're using the mirror, comes with. I'm just going back and forth. This is Dolce. And it's kind of like the same color as my skin. I actually thought it was gonna be a little darker. Okay, so we'll just put a little thin layer up in here just to even it out. If I ever put something on and I'm like, oh, it doesn't show up, I'm still gonna put it on the other side just so it's even. This would actually probably be more like a lid color on days when I want like a matte, you know, natural look. All right, let's just jump right into vintage. So this is vintage, oh yeah. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, so I'm just like excited to be filming you guys. I'm filming this video and then my next two videos, I don't want them to be makeup videos. I want maybe a keto video. Can I talk today? A keto, keto, what is wrong with me? A keto video. Um, and I do wanna film a home tour. Wow, I'm just like dropping the ball today. A house tour, how about that? So those are a couple things to look forward to. I'm just over here like a mess, okay? It was going so good. You can bring this color up as high as you want. Because it's kind of orange, I want it to show through in the crease. 
So that's why I'm kind of bringing it a little higher. Yep. All right. So next we're going to go in with bittersweet, which is this like purple color. It does look a little bit darker in person and I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. So let's go with the Sigma E45. Like all the numbers are starting to rub off. That's how much, that's how much I like them. Okay. Bittersweet. And I'm just going to kind of press this in the crease. Anytime I'm like not sure how a color is going to look, I'm just going to like press it. Yeah. And then blend it after. You just never know. You don't want to put like your big blending brush into a color and it's like a lot more pigmented than like you expected or things can just go wrong. So I'm going to go back to the bigger brush. I'm just going to like blend this out. Ooh, a little sunrise happening up in here. Oh, you know what? Passion fruit is actually kind of similar. These two are really close. I probably could have even done that first if I wanted the eye to be like a little more purple. Ooh, that looks pretty. Mm -hmm. This little mirror is coming in handy too. All right, so what are we gonna do next? Should we just go for the black? I'm like, is there any other color I could put in the crease? I feel like this passion fruit isn't, like I should have put that on first. Let me just put a little bit. Come on, let me just put a little bit. It's kind of like the same tone. It's just a little bit brighter. Might as well, shoot. Just like, I'm just like putting a little bit, just adding a little extra je ne sais quoi. All right, switching back to a smaller brush, we're gonna dip in matter. Is that what that says? M-A-T-T-E-R. Right here. You can still see there's like some of the, the other shadow on there. Oops. Dip, dip, dip. Tap off the excess and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in the outer corner. Because I did my foundation first, I'm just really pressing the shadow on because I don't want any fallout. But so far, so good. I'm just gonna press that on. And you always wanna make sure that you're pressing the shadow on kind of in the same shape as the other side. Everything should always be pretty even. All right, now I'm gonna switch back to my fluffy brush and blend this out. Cause she is not blended right now, okay? And whenever I blend out a dark color and I'm using like a dramatic uh, shade, I kind of like to pull it out straight instead of having it follow my shape. You know, like a couple years ago, I was like, burr, 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 but now I'm like, no, we're pulling her out this way. I know, it looks a little cray cray. I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base and we're gonna cut the crease a little bit. Clean up the lid a little bit. Like I feel like it just needs to be like cleaned up in here. You know, I always put it on the back of my hand. I'm using a lighter shade. Typically I use Rumor 5. I think this is like, it's a lot lighter. This is just the base, the generic base, I guess. Just as base. So usually I use a darker color. They do come in darker colors, but I was like, let me just try something different. So this is just like cleaning the surface, defining the crease. It's like prepping the eye. See that? See, like almost like already just looks better. <laughs> Like sometimes the crease in the lid like can look a little crazy in the in-between stages. And then this just like cleans it up. So I would say this is like a subtle, little subtle cut crease. If I really wanted to like show out, you know, I would add a little bit more product and really sharpen this. But I don't really like my crease like super harsh. Like I like it to look cut, but not like, you know, I don't like to always take it all the way there. Yeah, like this, where it's like soft and pretty. All right, next I'm gonna go in with Dream, which is like this Tiffany blue shade. And I'm gonna put this all over the lid. Just using the edge of the brush to kind of keep the crease nice and cut. Some people will move to like a smaller brush. Really just like packing on the color, trying to figure out my next move. I'm like, should I add a little bit more black in the outer corner? Should I add a little bit of this like purpley reddish color? I haven't done a dramatic look with like a bright color like this in a while. I was being it for it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna do black. Just so it like flows with the crease. So I'm gonna dip my flat brush into matter Tap off the excess and I'm just gonna like press it to make it a little bit darker just in the outer corner. And you wanna overlap it with that blue. So dip back into Dream, kinda like overlap so it blends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, this brush is like kind of exhausted. <laughs> like I've used it to the point of like 
it needs to be cleaned. So I'm just gonna switch to the same brush, except a clean one. And we are gonna put, hmm, I think we're gonna do icy, this light color on the inside of the eye. Just a little bit, like right up in here. And really just the colors overlapping just blends it, you know? Mm. I see. All right, so before I do the bottom lash line, I'm gonna line with the Dose of Color Shady Eyeliner. This is a creamy gel liner and I'm just using an angle brush. Let me show you this. I always wipe off the excess on the lid here, just so it's like not chunky on the brush. And then we are gonna line these eyes. Look at that. Depending on like how much time you have because a cut crease does take time, depending on how much time you have. You can also get the angle brush with the black and kind of line the crease to define it more. Like if you're really trying to get like technical, I know we're gonna wing it too. All right, now I'm gonna line the, this is give me like Nicki Minaj vibes. Just the liner on top. I'm gonna line the inside of my waterline and under my lash line. And I'm using the gel. Some people can use this, some people can't. Um, I don't have issues with this like getting in my eye or being too creamy. I kind of just like it. it. Stays put, you know what I mean? So you want to line in the waterline and under the lash line and kind of fill in the space in between. I'm just like wiggling, trying not to make crazy faces. All right, so I'm gonna wipe off just the excess of that eyeliner. Now let me get another brush. Let me just get a different angle brush so I don't mess this up. So I'm gonna put Dream over the liner but on the inside here. Dream is this like turquoise color and then black on the outside of the lid, er, under eyes. <laughs> what am I talking about? So this Dream shade here. All right, and now Matter. And I'm just pressing the color on the outside. Cute. All right, so what I wanna do is incorporate, ooh, there's like a little fleck. Wipe that off. See how like a little bit of the turquoise got on the crease? You just wipe it off. There it goes. Um, so I wanna incorporate a little bit of this purple color on the bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of blend out the bottom lash line with a small little, I call it a bullet brush. This little guy right here, see right there? Um, I have a couple of them actually. They're all kind of shaped the same from different brands. Oh, this is a good one. This is the one. This bad boy right here, this is also Sigma. So I'm gonna use, I think passion fruit, this one, and just like blend out under the lash line. Mm -hmm. So I'm really kind of like overlapping the black and just blending it. I don't like to bring it down too far because I feel like I'll just look freaking crazy. <laughs> you know, it just looks crazy if I bring it down too far. And I like my eyes to kind of stay like this. And when you blend the shadow down, sometimes it can make them look more round. And I like almond, you know, exotic, like. <laughs> Ooh, she is cute. All right, I'm gonna use the Snapscara. Should I use Snap? Yeah, Maybelline Snapscara Mascara. And I'm not gonna put any uh, primer on the bottom lashes just because I'm not going nowhere. I always show you guys primer. Oh dang, my lash is acting crazy. You know, I like primer when I'm gonna be gone all day. It helps, I feel like, make it the under eyes look a little bit more dramatic. And you know, my under eyes are already kind of dramatic, so I don't need my lashes to be like. I like really enjoy this type of cut crease where it's like cut almost like halfway. You know what I mean? So this lipstick I have on is Interview from Huda Beauty. Like I love it so much. I know you guys are gonna ask and um, ColourPop BFF lip liner. And then there's also a darker lip liner. I feel like that 90s lip is just so in right now. And that's what we doing. Like I'm actually obsessed with this lip. All right, I'm gonna finish off this cut crease. Ooh, it looks so, it's like a sunrise. It's like the ocean, you know, it's the water. This is the, the clouds, the sun hitting the clouds. This is, I don't know, darkness, the stars. <laughs> Uh, it looks so pretty though. Okay, so I am gonna use the Colored Rain. These are brand new and I cut them to fit my eye. They're called Safari Rain lashes and they're crazy. Like, look at them. They're super wispy. I cannot wait to put these bad boys on because as soon as I saw them, I was like, ooh, this is like right up my alley, you know? Like dramatic, wispy, I am here for it. So I'm using the Callus glue. I get this on Amazon. You can kind of see it, C-A-L-L-A-S. Everyone asked me about it, I like it, I mean, it does leave a little bit of like, 
leftovers you know after i wipe off my makeup it's like balled up on my lashes but i don't know i feel like every <laughs> every lash glue does that so i'm just like eh, whatever eh. Eh. all right use tweezers put the mirror down look down into the mirror like so and put these bad boys on Tweezers make the biggest difference and I just like press it to make sure that the whole entire lash is like touching my eye. Cause sometimes like this will be up, you know, parts will be up. You just need to make sure it's like secure. Secure the lash, look at that. Ooh, drama. Ooh, yes, drama. I think I did cut them like a little too short, but that's okay. I'm still gonna wear them. Hmm. I only got one pair, okay? I'm like, hmm. Ooh, this one has like a wispier piece here. Like the lashes aren't identical, which I kind of like. I feel like it makes it look a little bit more real. I mean, even though clearly I have false lashes on, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, make sure to curl the lash. All right, I'm gonna finish off the look with Pink Abu from MAC Cosmetics. This is a new gloss and I already have the lipstick on. I don't even know how this is gonna look. I'm like, I just like the color. I'm like, did I even think about it? No, this is cute. Like a nude pink. You guys know, like nude pink is just like never gonna get played out for me. Like ever, ever, ever. I mean, it shouldn't for you either, you know? Like I feel like if I was like a doll, this is how my lips would look all the time. You know, like naturally, like my natural lip color. Oh, this is cute, cute. All right, let me put my put my hair down. Hmm, I'm actually obsessed. Ooh. <laughs> This is super cute. This came out better than I expected. Listen, for $19, this palette is pretty good. <laughs> I can't even lie, like, it's like, look at that. I mean, she look real cute, okay? She look like she knows how to cut a crease, honey. <laughs> um, congratulations to Daisy. I think this is a beautiful palette. I think you did a good job with it. I love a good price. You know, I think makeup should be affordable and $20 or ooh, $19 for 20 eyeshadows is pretty good. I'm not mad at it at all. Also, like these lashes are giving me life. I am just like here for this look. I just can't stop looking at myself. I think you guys are really gonna like this. Um, thanks again so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, let me know like any video you guys wanna see, not makeup related, okay, how about that? How about you guys tell me in the comments a video that's not makeup related that you want to see, that you want me to film, because I'm gonna do it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, Strut and Slay.